Hello, welcome to watch Creative Proteomics video. Today, we are going to briefly introduce mass spectrometry based peptidomics for biomarker discovery. Peptidomics can be easily defined as the study of the low molecular weight fraction protein fragments from endogenous protein degradation products or other small proteins such as cytokines and signaling peptides. Peptide in the peptidome can be classified into two parts. One is the bioactive peptides shed from all cell types in the microenvironment, which can serve as reporters for cell-to-cell -cell communications, such as hormones and cytokines. The other is peptide fragments cleaved by enzymes resulting from in vivo resident proteins. Biomarkers are molecules that indicate a physiological state and also the change during a disease process. In human bodies, peptidome biomarkers can be used to forecast disease, diagnose various disorders, guide clinical therapy, and monitor medicine response. Peptidome plays an important role in biomarker discovery. The mass spectrometry based peptidomics for biomarker discovery contains sample preparation, separation, detection and identification, quantitative evaluation, data analysis, as well as biomarkers validation. Because many disease identifying biomarkers are likely to be low abundance proteins, it is imperative to remove the high abundance proteins or apply enrichment techniques to allow detection and better coverage of the low abundance proteins for mass spectrometry analysis. Many methods and technologies have been applied to extract peptides and small proteins, such as organic solvent precipitation, ultrafiltration, magnetic beads, solid phase extraction, affinity removal column, strong cation exchange and so on. Before being injected into the mass spectrometer, the peptides need to be separated because of the high complexity. For example, when using mass spectrometry, the peptides with the same amino acid composition but different sequences generate the same mass spectra of molecular ions. As a technique usually combined with mass spectrometry, liquid chromatography is the most popular method for peptide separation. And high-performance liquid chromatography has been widely used for bioactive peptide profiling. In addition, there are several other methods, including multidimensional separation technology, and capillary electrophoresis. Detection of numerous fragments necessitates the development of high-throughput, accurate, and sensitive mass spectrometer. There are four commonly used types of mass analyzers, quadruple, time-of-flight, ion trap, and Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance. These analyzers are usually put together in tandem to strengthen their superiorities. In order to determine the amino acid sequence of a specific peptide, the tandem mass spectrometer mode should be chosen in the operation. The collision induced association fragmentation technique is incorporated in basically all types of tandem mass spectrometers. Electron capture dissociation and electron transfer dissociation are developed for providing explicit fragmental spectra. A detection system for peptide biomarkers has two tasks. One is to show which peptides are present in a sample. The other is to determine the concentration. With the development of the mass spectrometry, there are various techniques for gel-free quantitative analyses of peptidomics samples. The non-gel quantification can be divided into two main categories stable isotope labeling and label-free methods. Various isotope labeling methods include ICAT, TMT, ITRAC and so on. But it has some limitations, like the increasing cost, complexity of sample preparation, complicate data processing, and so on. Currently, label-free quantitative approaches have been developed, based on the chromatographic peak area of a peptide, or frequency of mass spectra correlating to the peptide concentration. The mass spectrometer can produce a large amount of data, which is complex and hard to analyze. The data is submitted to data mining algorithms to get the statistical interpretation, which is divided into two categories, unsupervised methods and supervised methods. Mass spectra are analyzed using search engines. There are some commonly used search engines, including Mascot, SayQuest algorithms, Xtandem. Peptide sequencing information databases include non-redundant NCBI, Erop Moscow, Peptidome, PepBank, and so on. After biomarker discovery and characteristics, there is a need to validate putative biomarkers identified by the mass spectrometry based analysis. It requires to offer orthogonal analysis to rule out a false positive by mass spectrometry, and providing additional evidence for the biomarker candidates from the study for future potential clinical assays. Nowadays, antibody based assays, like Western blotting, ELISA, 
and immunochemistry are commonly used methods for biomarker validation. In addition, quantitative assays based on multiple reaction monitoring mass spectrometry as an attractive alternative, have been employed in biomarker verification due to its enhanced throughput and specificity. Equipped with high-resolution mass spectrometer, the bioanalysts and technicians in creative proteomics can offer professional research assistance in your biomarker discoveries. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable peptidomics services. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please feel free to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.